I think what I'd like to see uh, God doing uh, globally it is for the church to be known as the most hospitable, gracious community on the planet. By the grace of God, I had the opportunity to talk directly to David Cameron, our Prime Minister, about this, uh, saying, look, we are an opportunity. Uh, we're a channel for recruitment and support for foster and adoptive families. And uh, David Cameron said to me and my 11-year-old son that was with me, uh, that it's time for a sea change, a culture change in the relationship between the government and the church on this issue. Uh, so at the moment, we're really passionate about mobilising the church to step up to this need for fostering and adoption in the UK. So we're trying to say, actually, how can we change the church so that we are the most supportive and encouraging environment to wrap around families and give them all the help that they need? We do need to be encouraging this kind of grassroots movement, but we also need to be getting at the pastors and the denominational leaders uh, to say, look, let's join this thing up together. And also, when you multiply that on a national scale, when people begin to say, you know what, if we all work together, Pentecostals, Baptists, Anglicans, free churches, you, you name it, if we work together, we can make a significant dent. We can move the needle, as it were, on fostering and adoption. And uh, that gives us real credibility to talk to the government, that we are here as a church, not just to condemn and wave the finger and tell you all the things that we're against, but actually to be known as the gracious people of God. Uh, didn't Jesus say that we are the light of the world, that we're to let our deeds shine before men and women, that they may see our good deeds and praise our Father in heaven? If that could happen at a national scale, 